In this video, in this video, we're going to talk through one example problem dealing with periodic mechanical waves. In this case, we're going to talk about the periodic waves created by a wave pool or that are moving in a wave pool. We're going to focus on, let's say, a student floating in an inner tube, and you can see that the waves are moving kind of from left to right from the deep end to the shallow end, but the person in the inner tube is more or less just bobbing up and down. So this is an example of a transverse mechanical wave. So let's say we've got a child floating in a wave pool and they're moving up and down as the periodic water waves are moving from left to right. And let's say they decide to measure how long it takes to bob up and down once from one crest to another crest. So from let's say this position going all the way down back up to that same position. Well, how much time it takes for uh, any part of a material or medium to shake up and down or go through one cycle oscillation. Remember that's called the period. So let's say the period is four seconds as the traveling periodic water waves move past this position. The student also notices that one crest travels the entire length of the pool. Let's say it's about 20 meters in length in about 18 seconds. And the question we're going to try to answer is how how far apart are the crests of the waves? If we look at our little simulation up here, that's from one crest to another crest. Like what's the length between those things? We're essentially finding the wavelength of the periodic waves. Well, what do we know? We know that the entire length of the pool is about 20 meters and it takes a single crest or a trough about 18 seconds to travel that 20 meters. We know that the period of oscillation, how much time it takes this guy to go up and down all the way through one complete cycle, about four seconds. And what we're looking for is a periodic wave, the length from one crest or from one trough to another trough. So let's write down our given information. Capital T, remember, is the variable we use to represent period, that's four seconds. The change in position or displacement of a single pulse or the periodic waves moving through there from one side of the pool to the other is 20 meters. It takes 18 seconds and we're looking for lambda. We're looking for the wavelength of the periodic waves. Well, we have an equation which allows us to calculate the wavelength of any periodic wave. It's this. Wavelength is equal to the wave speed divided by the frequency. Well, let's first figure out how fast the waves are moving through the water. Well, waves move at a constant speed through a material. So velocity is just displacement divided by time. The waves are displaced 20 meters, the entire length of the pool. It takes 18 seconds to do so. So if they travel 20 meters in 18 seconds, they're moving on average of about 1.11 meters per second. That's the wave speed. What about frequency? Well, we're not given frequency, but we do know the period. It takes about four seconds for one complete cycle to happen. And how is frequency related to period? Remember, frequency and period are inverses of one another. So if we're looking for the wave's frequency, we can use the equation frequency is the inverse of the period, or period is the inverse of the frequency. So frequency is one divided by the period, which is four seconds and we get 0.25 inverse seconds for the units. And remember, an inverse second is the same thing as a cycle per second, and that's our unit for frequency. Or we can do it in hertz. So the frequency of the periodic wave, that is a period of four seconds, is about a quarter of a hertz. So let's just plug our values back in here. So wavelength is velocity divided by frequency. So we have 1.11 meter per second for the wave speed, divided by the frequency of 0.25 inverse seconds or hertz. You can see the inverse seconds cancel. You're left over with units of just meters. We end up getting that the wavelength, the distance from crest to crest or from trough to trough is about 4.44 meters. Now you guys should be able to work your way through the rest of this worksheet. Unit nine, worksheet one, thinking through how to classify different parts of a periodic mechanical wave and use this equation to figure out things like wavelength, wave speed, or frequency.